Hey robot fans, in this video I thought I would show you how the CodaMip app works. The main purpose of the CodaMip app is to create a set of instructions that CodaMip will follow. The first step is to create a project. We go to My Projects, press the plus symbol, then give the project a colour and name. The first thing we need to do is place an event block. There are five different event blocks, and the first one is called Start, which starts your sequence as soon as you press the play button. Using the position command, the sequence will start when MIP falls forward, falls backwards, is placed upright, or is picked up. Using the swipe gesture command, the sequence can be triggered by swiping left, right, forward or backwards in front of MIP's IR sensor. You can even trigger your sequence of actions by placing objects on MIP's balance tray. Lastly, you can trigger the sequence by clapping a set amount of times. OK, let's look inside the logic section. We can get MIP to wait a set amount of seconds, and we can get him to repeat a block of commands. We can change the colour on MIP's chest LED, and we can also get it to flash slow or fast. We can get MIP to make certain sounds. We can switch on and off MIP's eyes and get them to flash either slow or fast. But we can also trigger MIP to automatically fall over either forwards or backwards. And lastly, you can set the volume of MIP's speaker. Okay, in the motion section, we can move MIP forward a set amount of distance or time. And we can also move MIP backwards a set amount of time. We can rotate MIP either left, right, or all the way round, and we can even draw a path for MIP to follow. You can start adding commands to your project by simply dragging them into place. As you can see, they, once they're connected, they stay together. And you can separate and reconnect code blocks like so. You can also remove a command by simply dragging it up to the top trash icon. OK, so let's start adding some commands. By clicking on the right hand side of each command, you'll see a series of settings for you to choose from. As you can see here, I'm able to change the MIP's chest LED colour. So here I'm changing it to the colour purple. Then I can use another command to change the speed of the light on MIP's chest. I'm going to add some motion. We're going to drive MIP forward a set amount of seconds. You can see you can go all the way up to a minute. For this demonstration, I'm just going to set MIP to move forward just a couple of seconds. Here I can rotate MIP a set amount of degrees. Let's move that command up straight underneath the start. change each of MIP's eyes independently so we can either switch them on and off or get them to blink slow or fast. And when you're done you just click away and the setting is saved. So I'm going to keep building my coding sequence and just keep adding more and more commands. Here I'm going to get MIP to wait a few seconds. What else haven't we tried? 
drive backwards. Okay, let's get Mip to drive backwards. Let's move him backwards for one second. Oh, look, we can even change the speed. So this time he's going to move backwards for a shorter amount of time, but faster. I'm hoping that's going to end up, Mip's going to end up roughly in the same position. Okay, let's add some sound effects. Click on the settings. If I scroll down, you can see there's a whole load of different sound effects Mip can do. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. Let's stick with loop two. Let's try and show you how the repeating action works. So I drag the repeat section in, and then inside that set you can see it's going to repeat everything inside that block. So it's going to repeat the weight, the drive backwards, and the sound effect. I've set it to repeat, uh, it's set to repeat once. Okay, so let's try and add some commands to finish off with. Let's slow down the chest light flashing. Uh, let's also perhaps change the colour of the light. Ah, fall over. Let's try and get it to fall over at the end. In the settings here, you can get, there you go, you can get it to fall forward or backwards. So the best thing to go with that action would probably be some sort of snooze or sleeping sound effect. So I'm going to add the sound. And here you go, there's the snore sound effect. And maybe to finish off with, we're going to switch MIPS lights off. Okay, so let's try and set all those commands and have them start with a clap. So I've added clap into the sequence. I've separated out the start command in order for me to reattach clap as an event command to start the sequence. And I'm going to set the number of claps at one. So when I clap once, it will go through this whole sequence of instructions. When I click the play command at the bottom of my sequence of codes, it will tell me there's no MIP connected, and then it will try and scan in for MIP. When it's found your MIP, you just press it and they're connected. Now when I press play and clap my hands, MIP should follow the sequence of actions. Okay, so that didn't quite go as planned. So what I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect MIP and try again. There we go, so MIP's disconnected. Now we can now we can I can start to change the sequence slightly. So I'm going to maybe rotate MIP less degrees. I'm gonna change the forward motion to one second so he's not moving out of camera. So you can't see. This repeat command I don't think worked very well, so let's ditch that. And here you can see I'm separating that out so I can just remove just that one piece. Okay, so let's reconnect MIP. You can reconnect MIP by clicking the settings option on the event command. Okay, 
let's see that again in slow motion. So I clap, and it rotates to the right, the chest light colour changes, then starts flashing, then Mick moves forward, his right eye starts blinking, then he waits, he moves backwards much faster, the music comes on, and then the chest light colour changes, the eyes go out, and then Mip falls over and starts snoring. Yeah, so that wasn't really that exciting to look at, but I hope it gives you an idea of how the MIP app works.